evening and welcome back to the first time home buyer show i am your host sd class and as you know we have absolutely amazing shows coming to you every night this week zamantungwa kumalo live at 7 p.m with the private property podcast mbali is at 8 p.m every tuesday and thursday with the farming podcast and of course the home shopper show has changed its time to mondays and fridays live at 8 p.m that's chad with the home shopper show mondays and fridays and of course tonight we have the first time home buyer show and without further ado i'm chatting to a ceo entrepreneur visionary leader author the list is endless i'm chatting to the one and only witness mdaka good evening witness how are you today i'm good how are you esti i'm well beautiful intro that's you <laughs> all these titles and I'm, there's obviously so much more that i left out tell us a little bit about witness okay um witness is young entrepreneur property investor I started off in the township of Tembisa, built up a business from there. Um, so I don't know, should I get into the details of how I started? I'd like for that, yes, go deeper. We want to know about your journey, how you got to where you are, and this book says it all, you know? Yeah. So just tell us a little bit more about that. Okay, so the year is 2008, I've just finished my metric, and my mother discovered that she had overpaid her bond by 150,000 rands, and she decided to build back rooms at our, our yard in Tembisa. And upon finishing up those back rooms, she said to me that if you want to go to varsity, uh, you must manage and look after these tenants. Uh, and that's how the journey into property started for me. At the time, I didn't even think it was a business. I just mm. thought it's something that, that brings in money for us to buy groceries for me to go to university. Um, yeah, I remember the first tenant, his name was Julius Kotokwan, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> uh, the guy came in and my mother said to him, uh, the money that you have, give it to my son witness he'll be the one collecting the rental every month and then just like that I went into property and I mean so so you had to take the rent and pay for your own education and being being a young young individuals ourselves we know that getting money and using it just to to, to stay committed and motivated to actually use this for education was that easy did you not were you not tempted to buy, to buy other things to do other things with the money so so I must be honest I was very <laughs> <laughs> I was a, I was a very uh, forward young man at the time mm -hmm. um, but my mother had just had her first stroke at the time. She, she fell ill immediately after finishing the project. Uh, and I had to manage the project uh, uh, myself moving forward. Thank you for watching. Subscribe. Click the like button. Thank you.